In this slide, I will be explaining you about the foreign key. A foreign key is an attribute or a set of attributes that references to a primary key of the same table or another table. By attributes, we also mean the columns in a table. Check the two tables in this slide. The first is the table SAMS and the second is the table vendor. The table SAMS consists of five columns or we can also say it consists of five attributes. Those are I code, I name, price, color and V code. The first attribute I code has all the entries distinct. The first entry is S001 and the second one is S002. Since the entries in this attribute I code are distinct, that's why I code becomes the primary key of the table SAMS. And this primary key column I code uniquely identifies every record in the table SAMS. Next, in the table vendor, it consists of two columns, V code and V name. The first column, V code, or we can also say the first attribute, V code, has all the entries distinct. The first entry is P01 and the second entry is P02. Since here the entries are distinct, that's why we can also say the V code becomes a primary key column in the table vendor. Now, after identifying the primary key column in both these tables, next we are going to identify the foreign key column which will help in relating these two tables, SAMS and vendor. Now a foreign key is a particular column in a table which acts as a primary key column in another table. Now if we look at the table vendor, V code becomes a primary key in this table. But this column V code also exists in the table SAMS but not as a primary key because in the table SAMS the primary key is I code. Since this column V code exists in the table SAMS not as a primary key that is why this column becomes a foreign key in the table SAMS. The query in this slide will help you better understand the concept of a foreign key. With the help of this query, you will be able to extract the column entries from two different tables, that is SAMS and Vendor, by relating a foreign key. Now refer to the two tables SAMS and Vendor and check the query. The query is select s.iname, v.vname from SAMS s, Vendor v. Here S is the alias name for the table SAMS which is used to extract the entries in the column iname. This is shown by S.iname. Similarly V is the alias name for the table vendor which is used to extract the entries in the column vname. And that is shown by V.vname in the query. In this way the column entries from two different tables are extracted using alias names of the corresponding tables. The next thing that we have to do is relate these two different tables that is shown in the WHERE clause of the query. The WHERE clause says v.vcode is equal to s.vcode followed by a semicolon. The V here refers to the vendor's table. The V code in V.V code is the primary key column in the vendor's table. Similarly, S refers to the SAMS table. The V code in S.V code is the foreign key column in the SAMS table. When V.V code is equal to S.V code, the table SAMS and vendor are related using the column V code and all the entries of the columns I name and V name will be extracted for the corresponding V code. Now see the SAMS and the vendor table. For the I name as refrigerator in the SAMS table, the V code is P01. 
and when it links to the V code in the vendor's table with entry P01, the V name is Satish. Hence, the first entry in the output table has refrigerator as I name and Satish as V name. Similarly, for the I name as mobile phone in the SAMS table, the V code is P02, and when it links to the V code in the vendor's table with entry P02, the V name is Manoj. Hence, the second entry in the output table has mobile phone as I name and Manoj as V name. That's all for today.